All right, here we go. This one's called Junior. It's a session IPA from Structures in Bellingham, Washington. Right there. It says Session India Pale Ale, alcohol volume, 4%. So, it's a little guy, but it's some pretty good stuff. Easy, easy drinking. Nice mellow hop character, juicy. All right, <clears throat> night man. Oh. Um, so this one is night man from Declaration Grooming, and I can only imagine that this has to do with it's always sunny in Philadelphia because he had day man and night man, and of course you know Charlie Day did the whole uh, the whole play where uh, he did the day man champion of the sun and. All that bullshit. It was hilarious. But anyhow, so this is the uh, complimentary scent to Dayman. Um, I know the chief hated this shit. <laughs> uh, and he was very disappointed. And I gotta say, I don't think this scent is foul. I don't think it's um, a slap in the face or anything like that. It might be a little bit of a cash grab. Um, or maybe it was just ill thought out. But... I get what he says when he says it's like cookies and then whatever the else, whatever the hell else he said. I think he said like lemon pledge or something. And obviously that doesn't sound good at all. Um, and it's funny because I can distinguish those two. I get like a cookie quality, like a baked goods, kind of like something sweet, something tasty. And then there's like a straightforward lime like a sweet lime and you could just imagine those don't go well together like they the lime smells good and the cookies smells good but it's like together they don't match so I, I, I agree with Chief that you know this not a uh, very well thought out release I don't think it's foul or disgusting um, or repulsive like he did, but, um, I definitely, you know, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> it's just not good. All right, so here we go. I got some loaded up. I think this is the first time I've used milk steak. I can't remember. I know Chief sent me a bunch of, uh, he sent me a bunch of samples of some top-notch shit, but I don't think I've ever used milk steak, so, uh, this will be my first use. I got it loaded up in the bowl. I'm using my That Darn Rob Fanchurian. Who knows what volume or version it is. Of course, soaking in some distilled water. I'll go ahead and wring that out and set it in the bowl. We're gonna be using the uh, Gem G bar right there. It's a G right there. Just one of the coolest handle designs, I think, in the vintage world. Just has like this, kind of weird, it doesn't stand. But it definitely makes for some nice shave of the day photos. Very cool vintage razor. And I think I got a, uh, a Persona stainless loaded in there. There we go. And then we're going to finish off with some coffee. Morning coffee in the Canadian wilderness. Of course that's a uh, tallow and steel. And carve collaboration. Carve. Like uh, Justin says. All right, get to Larry. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I get uh, the frustration. First declaration grooming kind of has a bit of a hiatus between drops. And, you know, when you're, when you're kind of like top dog, people really, they have high expectations of you. And, um, I've only seen the Chiefs reaction to this. I haven't seen anybody else's. And uh, I didn't let that uh, help me form my opinion. But it definitely scared the crap out of me when he said it was a uh, an awful scent release. Now, I find me and him have pretty opposite um, tastes and fragrance. So, there was a little bit of hope that um, I, I was still going to like this. 
<clears throat> but uh, like I said, it's not repulsive, but it just doesn't go together. Like, and it says that it has woods in it, and I don't really get much woodiness. I get that kind of cookie vibe that is like a base underneath a straightforward lime. Maybe a little bit sparkling lime. It also said it had booze in the uh, scent description, like lime or citrus booze and woods. But really, I don't get much woods. I get like this cookie character, some sort of pastry, you know, sweetness. And then I just get like this straightforward lime. So you can imagine that doesn't go well together. I have to agree with Chief on this one, although, you know, not to that extreme. But I, under, I, I understand the disappointment that he had. And uh, don't mistake my kind of calmer demeanor as um, not being disappointed as well. I just don't... I have one grooming department... Or not grooming department. Declaration Grooming product. And I won that in a giveaway. So I'm not really invested in Declaration Grooming regardless. Um, but it is kind of disappointing to buy something from, like, kind of one of the top dogs in the shaving world, and it be kind of a less than stellar offering. <clears throat> so, that's that. Disappointing. I think it was, uh, wasn't well thought out. And I know Scott does kind of like stuff that fragrances that he likes and he enjoys and that's great but unless he's buying 100 percent of his own product you might want to take into consideration what others like as well <laughs> and you can never please anyone everyone you can't you just you can never please everyone so there, there's that as well but if you ask you know a bunch of people's opinions there's a better chance you'll appease the majority. You know what I mean? All right, let's get this on the face. So, <clears throat> scent wise, it has, you know, a, a nice scent strength, uh, probably a five or six. It's there, but, um, just not that enjoyable to me. I heard milk steak was pretty finicky to dial in. I don't think I had that many, much problems right now on my first use with it. I just added two additions of water. Looks pretty damn good to me. This, uh, that done Rob Venturian just feels great. If you can see in the back over there, <clears throat> I rototillered my whole yard front and back this morning. And when I say my whole yard, I mean the pasture of weeds. <laughs> I believe I've told you guys that I've been battling the weeds. And uh, we finally got them to a point where they were showing signs of defeat. And so we busted out the rototiller and just started from scratch. And then we're going to have it hydro seeded here in a little while. Or soon we're going to have it hydro seeded. Because it's kind of late in the year to plant grass, I believe. You can just be battling the heat. And um, it's been windy too, so kind of hard planting grass when it's windy and hot. The seed just flies around and uh, doesn't really get to soak in. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so hopefully this hydro seeding really jump starts the process. Of course, it might cost a little bit extra, but... <clears throat> At this point, I just want it over with. So 
So I got the rototilling done. I just got to get the kind of large rocks that were turned up. And uh, we'll let the hydro seeders do their thing. <clears throat> Gotta say this milk steak is uh pretty fucking slick. I like it. It's a shame I asked um Sean, I believe his name is, at Chateauan Lux after I got those um EDP samples in. And I fucking loved Admiral, one of his, um, his, uh, eau de toilettes. And, um, I asked him if, uh, he was going to have, like, a spring or summer release of Admiral, or if it was coming soon. And he said he released it, you know, with Declaration Grooming last year. I believe, or maybe two years ago. And he said it got a uh, pretty lukewarm to negative response from the shaving community. And I just thought that was such a shame because I fucking love that. So he said it, it probably won't be released in this year um, as a soap. And that's a bummer to me. But at least he, uh, he said, as far as um, the EDT goes, he says it sells pretty well, and so he's keeping it on board um, as far as the EDT. So I'm going to try to get a hold of that sooner or later. Because me and the wife both both like that. I know uh, they just did the uh, La Petite Prairie. And um, that looks... He sent me a even smaller sample of that, complimentary. And... Um, that was pretty good. Uh, I think the rhubarb kind of takes the top note. It's very noticeable. And that kind of like tartness. Uh, good, really good, I think, for spring and summer. I don't think I would pick it up, but I definitely enjoy the sample that he sent along. I think my next favorite of the samples that I got was unconditional surrender that one was pretty fucking awesome on the dry down as well and of course gray shit league square is another pretty masculine more cold weather fall winter type scent pretty masculine and that one's fantastic as well that's actually the one um declaration grooming soap i have in the bison towel base and like I said, I won that in a giveaway, so I didn't even purchase it. <clears throat> it's funny, look at me now. I, you know, I was kind of... I was kind of avoiding the high-dollar soaps then. Like when Milk Steak and Sierra and all those first came out. But it's like, when the price is so high for so long, it becomes the norm... You get acclimated to that price point, and then sooner or later, they grow ballsy enough to raise it again, and it's an outrage for a while, and then it's the norm, <laughs> and I'm just looking at myself now. Just bought what I didn't want to buy because of the price, because now, it's not the most expensive anymore, and uh, it was still fucking expensive then. <laughs> Fucking damn shame. But I gotta say, the soap base is fantastic. I'm really liking milk steak. I don't know on first use if I like it more than the bison tallow. I really like the bison tallow one. The scent is kind of out of season. And I'm, I'm not in the mood for it right now. Of that Gracia League Square. But it is a great scent, and I love that soap base. <clears throat> and this milk steak is pretty fucking good too, but I just, 
on my first use of it, I don't know if it's better than the bison towel. And again, <laughs> not trying to be a contrarian, but I just don't know. I, I don't know. It's not obvious to me. It's not obviously better. And I haven't talked much about the G-Bar, but it's just so smooth, you know, it's kind of brainless. Just keep that more shallow angle that gem style razors require. Same old thing, light pressure, and you're golden. It's funny, I had this, uh, this setup, I took the pictures and, and I had the whole setup ready to go last night. I even had um, I even had my brush soaking last night ready to go. And um, my buddy got a hold of me asked me if I wanted to uh, have some cigars and crack open a barley wine which uh, barley wine of course is a beer a pretty it's a bourbon barrel aged um, barley beer and it's usually high alcohol very complex it, t it you know takes flavors from the second use bourbon barrels and then the malt grain is so high quality, you know what I mean? Uh, products being used. And there's just no way if from a very respected brewery, Anchorage up in Alaska, Anchorage Brewing Company. And there was just no way I was going to miss it. So I said, yeah, come over. We'll have some cigars and, and um, we'll split this barley wine and... So the shave just got pushed back to today, which is no big deal, but <clears throat> I don't like missing a shave, obviously, because I enjoy them so much, but you make exceptions, you know what I mean? You guys live. <clears throat> I'm here now. I know you guys probably have the shakes and are experiencing withdrawals because I missed a day, but I'm here now, so you get your fix. <laughs> of course I'm just joking <clears throat> alright that was a hell of a shave guys that was nice um, I really enjoyed not this towel put this towel to the side that towel's garbage Lancaster baby if I could get it Whoosh. Lancaster <clears throat> really enjoyed that milk steak base. I think um, on the first use, that was a pretty damn good Im impression that it gave. The uh, the scent. Um, I'm not gonna say you can take it or leave it. I'm gonna say just leave it. <laughs> I don't think those scent notes um, mix very well. I don't think they complement each other. I think they clash quite obviously. It's almost like the kind of gourmandy, like cookie sweetness or bready undertone could have been the direction that Nightman was going. And then for whatever reason, the kind of like sparkling lime, you know, boozy lime, mojito vibe, got thrown in there. It's like that lime could have been Dayman. And then the like darker gourmandy, warm, cookie vibe could have been Nightman, 
but instead <laughs> it's like the oils got mixed up <laughs> and he couldn't afford to remake it so I would definitely just skip on this one now of course I'm not trying to uh, hurt declaration grooming and their business or anything like that but I, if you know this is me telling my viewers telling my friends I would skip I would skip get something else get unconditional surrender and then PM Scott that we want to see Admiral again <laughs> all right I think we got most of it the rest of it could just stand there for six months like David says <laughs> Okay, great stuff. Let's finish off with this morning coffee in the Canadian wilderness right there. Great artwork. I love the kind of tall slender bottle as well. Just a gang of skin food in the back. This scent, however, is pretty good. It's a, it's a unique one, and it might be polarizing. But, um... I do like it. This might actually be a challenging fragrance. I don't know if this... I'm not sure if this would be mass appealing. I think it would be what I would consider a more challenging fragrance. Something that, whether you like it or not, will probably expand your knowledge in the fragrance world. And you can use that knowledge, you know, to inform yourself on future pur future purchase purchases. Well, <clears throat> and if I'm a little red, it's probably because I was just out in the sun for three plus hours. All right, let's get a little recap in. Declaration grooming night, man. Oh, <laughs> I have to do that. All right, although I know it's day, man. Champion of the sun. Oh. All right, Lancaster Bowl, good stuff. My trusty Lancaster Bowl. My that darn Rob brush. This thing is just a beauty. Like I said, I always like that little, that little grain pattern right there. I love it. That purple grain, the black top, and of course the V4 or not V4, Venturian brush. And I have no idea what V it is. <clears throat> The Gem G-Bar, one of the sexiest looking gem razors and vintage razors, really, in my opinion. Very good looking design, sleek, and it probably looked futuristic uh, at the time, honestly. But a great shaver. Pretty, uh, pretty fucking smooth for a gem style. If you're just getting into gems, I would suggest like the 1912 or maybe that G-Bar. Or maybe even the Featherweight, they're all great. Then, of course, Morning Coffee in the Canadian Wilderness. Great, great stuff. And uh, milk steak was great too. Just Nightman, bad scent. Milk steak, good. Nightman, no good. No good. Okay. And we'll finish off where we started off with the Junior Session IPA. Cheers, guys. Have a good weekend.